Rubby versus Ryung. I'm JP McDaniel. And I'm Rob Simpson. And this is going to be so exciting. Grubby has been doing incredibly well. We just watched him take out uh, Gro Goody. Excuse me. Yeah. And right after Goody beat MMA, like, wait, what? And so now Grubby's going to be faced with Ryung, who, who's also been playing uh, rather well. Now, fortunately enough for Grubby, he did just uh, play against another Terran player. So he's in, you know, closer to that mindset. Although clearly Ryung playing uh, much different than, than Goody the majority of the time. Yeah, yeah. Up here in the top right will be Grubby as the red Protoss down. In the bottom left will be Slayer's Ryung playing under the ID of Slayer's Sela. That'll probably get confusing as the game goes on, but we'll try not to think about it too, too much. <laughs> uh, Ryung, TVP. Um, I don't believe it's one of his best matchups. Uh, of course, TVT being his best, he is a TVT specialist. But uh, regardless, he is Korean, and that means he's obviously going to be very good at almost all <laughs> matchups. <laughs> Is it just good at StarCraft 2, right? That's like general consensus. Yeah. I think is what people... Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I want to see what, what Grubby's going to do, because he's been doing some relatively unorthodox stuff, although we saw him just kind of be a little more creative than generally, like in playing against... Um, in Goody, he was doing things like hiding his Colossi and waiting for, for Goody to kind of force bad engagements. Although a lot of the time we saw that Goody wasn't really keeping up on his Viking count. And then ended up hurting him a lot. And even when he was keeping up on his Viking ca count, there was a couple exchanges. I mean, one one main large exchange in the last game that Grubby won where his, his Vikings just weren't there. So even if you have the right tools, you still have to use them correctly. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned keeping up with his Viking count in game one. His Viking count was zero. zero he lost yeah. because of it. Uh, Grubby uh, pushing at the last second with two, I think it was maybe three Colossus. And... Good, he was on six racks at the time, and there was really no hope for him after uh, getting that. I think he had plus one, maybe even plus two on the Colossus. So his army just got destroyed. I expect a, a very different play out of Ryung here. Uh, probably will do the uh, standard move out with two medevac timing. We'll see how the opening of this game goes. It will be a gasless uh, expansion mm -hmm. for Sela. Uh, sometimes you can see them throw down a tech lab and go something with... <laughs> Uh, something with Reapers in it. You're laughing. Yeah, it's happened, JP. That's Ryung. Yeah. Oh, did I say so? <laughs> yeah. yeah, crap. There you go. That's all right. So he's going to be getting out there. Oh, he starts the ops to start the orbital first, which is totally fine. Then he's going to follow out right now, just about to start that command center. Now here we have Grubby adding on his second gas. And his Psychor is just about to wrap up. And now we can see he'll actually have just enough gas to go ahead and start that warp gate if he'd like. Paul's giving us a little strip tease in the window. We'll make sure to embarrass him with pictures of that later on Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter. Hit <laughs> 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 me, JP, and Rob P. Simpson. And <laughs> DiApollo1337. He's doing a great little dance. He's doing the creative, creative like, mime dancing. There's actually, there's actually no way to concentrate on this while he dances like that. <sighs> Silly Apollo. Mm-hmm. Guy's kind of a, uh, a clown, man, a class clown. Well, I mean... Gener generally the most intelligent fellows are. That's true. That's it's because they get bored in class, so they can just make all the jokes instead. Yeah. I think, I think MLG Adam is out there egging them on as well. Do you know Adam actually thinks we're salt and pepper? Yeah. He was, he was saying that. And then you started singing the stupid song, and now uh -huh. it's in my head. Yeah. You're very welcome. And now we actually have Ryung over here adding on two additional barracks. He's now got both of his refineries building simultaneously. Grubby has also gone for an expansion of his own as he adds on his Twilight Council. And let's see what Grubby does. Is he going to be adding on a ton of gates here and going for uh, a big push? He, he's just now starting to get warp gates, but there is another gate being added. Two gates. Probably, I, I suspect, maybe just going up to four at this point and then getting a... Uh, robotics facility down get that observer out it's, it's something he really loves doing in this matchup playing very reactionary with those observers um, there's the tech lab we'll probably be seeing stim as well as a factory eventually added on doing the uh, check with the stalker to see exactly what kind of defense he has going on might move in here with the zealot taking Ooh. the majority of the damage um, huh. So right now, uh, Grubby is actually just a little bit supply blocked, although he doesn't have enough money to really take advantage of that anyway, so it's not going to hurt him that much. And we see his Nexus now finishing up. Sela, wow, Ryung staying active on the map, moving out there. He does see the pylon finishing up. Yeah, 
And he has thrown down a second bunker after seeing that pylon. Feels a bit threatened, and that might be what uh, Grubby is really planning to do with that, uh, is simply just threaten. Ooh, we're seeing a DT mm -hmm, uh, shrine going down. And let's see if uh, Ryong is going to scout that here. Um, he can scan. We don't see... Okay, there's the just engineering Just about to finish bay. the NG bay, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the natural and see if he puts down a turret anytime soon. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting double reactor added on here. Should see that factory. Yep, and there's factory going down. So we will see that push out uh, with the medevacs. If Grubby does not do that much damage and loses a lot of uh, his units in an upcoming attack, that double medevac timing oh. is going to be super, super wow. great. And he just took a lot of damage on that stalker. Yeah, and I don't even know if he's going to have enough. Ah, actually, given the timing of the Dark Shrine, he should have enough time to get all of the energies back onto ex shields back onto that stalker. But still, taking that much damage for, for pretty much no reason does hurt him at least a little bit. Now, he got up there and he got the information. He knows that the second bunker is down. He knows that Ryung is ready for a, a pretty big push. And Ryung, trying to get a little more information on the units that are out there, gets exactly what he needs and heads back into his natural. And he does wow. throw down the missile turret here, uh, seeing a very mineral-heavy army. Mm -hmm. uh, he thinks that his opponent will be coming with something like DTs. And on the cost, uh, Hunter Minerals throw down that turret, so why not? Here comes Grubby actually deciding to move in. I think what he's trying to do there, or what he was wanting to do before seeing those two bunkers, is attack forward and then send the DTs past into the main base and do some harassment. But now it's going to be kind of scary. That starport is almost finished. The reactor almost finished on the factory, and he's got mm. quite the force here. Uh, already with Stim, combat shield just now being started, but a plus one uh, weapons is going to be started here pretty soon. Now, as he also gets charged, we see Grubby uh, potentially preparing for what I hope will turn into uh, Archons, because I absolutely love Archons and, and plus one. Uh, if we could take a look at Grubby's upgrades, I, I don't rem recall seeing a forge. Yeah. Still zero, 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 yeah. So uh, on there, of course, the forge starts now. And he's warping a bunch of DTs over here. And we will be seeing those Archons going for this uh, money mix in the middle of the game. Um, might be adding on a couple more sentries here and try to go for a big uh, push with that. Uh, or just getting ready for the eventual medevac timing, which I'm sure Grubby expects. As we can already see him falling back here to his base with, his ma with the majority of his forces. And now we have that Forge finishing up. He does go for armor. Well, opts for armor instead, opting to instead try to make his units last as long as possible in the next engagement. And Charge now finishes up. He'll actually be in a decent position when he fights. Oh, gets in a quick swipe onto that Marine. Oh, will he be able to get away? He's just about out of the range of that scan and just barely escapes with 13 HP. Oh, wow, but he's running back into the scan range, possibly just trying to force another scan. Yeah, I mean, getting that one scan is a, a pretty big deal. That means one less mule See. for nothing at all, and he is uh, still chipping away. How much energy do those orbitals have? Uh, let's see here. He does not have enough at his natural, and he does he have enough, enough for the other scan, but he doesn't want to uh, really risk it. Uh, instead, he's going to go for the share kill over here at this pylon. And that 1DT has stopped the push for Ryung. Uh, so Grubby's decision to go for those early DTs, while not doing a whole lot of damage, is going to be quite annoying for Ryung. He's even going to deny the third a little bit longer. Oh, man. DTs are just so solid at map control, and they're always going to cost Ryung something Ooh. to get rid of until he has mobile detection, which clearly he's not going to have for a little while. We do see Ryung. He did just pop down uh, one of his scans to finish off that the, the Dark Templar that is at his proposed third. And oh, that factory is doing exactly what mm -hmm. Ryung wants it to do, and that is distract the majority of the army. The Zealots with charges running down south, and they're going to be completely out of position here. As we see, Templar Archives did finish. Where are those uh, High Templar being warped in? Looks like they are over at the Natural, and here comes the main drop occurring. Oh. They could deny this plus one weapons upgrade as well as everything else going on in the main. So much tech in the back there that is just completely exposed right now, and Grubby is going to have zero army to be able to get back there and stop this attack. Now he gets in there. Oh, wow. Wonderful feedbacks onto those two medevacs, but there's just not enough energy on them to really make it worthwhile. Now Grubby has lost both of his forges, effectively stopping his upgrade, even though he was so close to getting his plus two armor upgrade, as well as finishing off plus one ground attacks. 
drop gets completely cleaned up here at the natural, but the main drop still stands and did not lose that many units in it, to be honest. Uh, sees that a third base has been put down, and also a third base over here is the DT is going back to town, getting six kills before dying. There still is the pylon back here, so another DT is going to be warped in. <laughs> And now he does have enough for two scans on that orbital. He's, I mean, once you get up to the three orbital mark, you're actually not that afraid to continue using those scans to just kill the DTs. Because really, I mean, it's it's costing Grubby quite a bit of gas, and that's delaying the position he'd prefer to be in. We'll see where these go, and they're going to try to possibly poke into the third. Grubby moving out at the perfect time for uh, Ryung. But there are still oh, some zealots wow. left over. Those zealots are so close, and if only they had engaged slightly sooner before the entire army was able to unload. This would have been a more favorable engagement for him. He could have stopped that unload entirely, although quick to respond, he gets his army up there. And Rian is forced to lift away. Man, and now even though there's a missile turret there, he still continues with the DT harass. This would be such a great um, tournament if Grubby continues to move on, taking out yet another <laughs> Korean. Uh, so many people were super excited when he actually took out... Who was it? Was his, it MMA? His first game was Oz. Oh, Oz. Right, yeah. right, in the PvP. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a game that really, really uh, Reddit went crazy for. We spent so much time at t number one here. So we'll see if he can actually take out Ryung. Uh, so far in this game, it's pretty even. Ryung is doing a great job, though, with his drops being very, very active. And now moving out on the map with the Pretty heavy uh, Marauder Force, already at 2-2 upgrades. Hmm. And now, man, Ryan just continuing to stay so active out on the field. And he's also just started researching Cloak as well. His ghosts are now finishing up. Uh, again, these just these like little micro drops, right? Like mini drops happening over here. Oh, pulling back the Medivac, and it does only have 8 HP remaining. Oh, the Stalker wants to kill that Medivac so bad. Yeah, uh, I don't even know... Yeah, he does actually see it um, <laughs> edging forward a little bit, but uh, will not be given access to that. Here is the main force of Ryung, 2-2. Uh, and where are the Vikings? Look, or excuse me, the Ghosts are a little bit behind here. Grubby sees this army, and he will try to engage it, but I think he sees too much and does not like it and has to fall back. He does have a lot of Templar here, kind of uh, Zaka-esque in the sense uh, that he just always prefers those Templars. Another small drop here, though, as this little attack gets cleaned up. The Medivac should get away, though, but now he's got to deal with those. The feedback's going off, and they will, of course, just drain the energy, not getting the kill. And as Grubby warps in those reactionary zealots to defend the assault at his third, Ryan once again lifts off just about unscathed. Doing it, I mean, like you said, man, he is keeping very active out there, making yeah. the most of his units. And now Grubby here going in for an exchange, and now we don't see there's not actually enough energy left on those sentries to really make too much happen. We do see a storm. It's not terribly effective. Those snipes going off, but not killing anything. I didn't, I didn't hear a yell. Yeah, I, I don't think they uh, got any of the high Templar here. Small marine force stemming forward will not be able to finish off that high Templar. Ooh, so but here come the it. ghost. Gets oh. one. Starts the snipe on the other one, but cannot finish it. I don't even know. Yeah, he is without a robotics bay, guys. Oh, wow, Those but he is all do. the way in there. Those Templar are now free for Ryung as he de delivers what could likely be the killing blow. Grubby's doing what he can to hold on, getting in storms when he can, warping in additional zealots, but really, Ryan just has too many units. His force is far too fierce as he pushes in and now just has, is having his way with that third base. Now there's storms, and even if even if Grubby's able to clean this up, if you just take a look at the supply count, that tells the story. Yeah, uh, 200 supply, uh, basically for Ryan. These go still without a observer up here to uh, stop them. I think Grubby basically forgot the observer. Um, he already had a robotic facility. I actually called that incorrectly as the robotics bay was building at the same time. Uh, but Ryung just streaming units across the map. Uh, not really an answer whatsoever from Grubby and Miss Natural is gonna fall. Hmm. Now Grubby continuing to stay in the game. Hopefully not too, uh, hopefully not too frustrated. Now tapping out. Now moving into game two, he is going to be on the line of elimination. 
Yeah, he will most likely be pretty cheesed uh, after a game like that from Ryung. He never was able to move out on the map. Ryung kept him contained to his base the entire, entire time. Yeah, and yeah, Ryung staying just so active. Like, that that was what it came down to, where it didn't matter how many units Ryung had. Like, he was still going to be using them to drop onto Grubby anywhere that he sensed weakness. He didn't even need to sense weakness. He broke it down and made weakness in Grubby. <laughs> And, yeah. and uh, it really came down to, well, I mean, there were several things that built up to it. But when Grubby had all of his units out in front of his natural, right towards the center of the map already, and Ryung had that, that incredibly well-timed drop in the back as the factory was just dragging too many units right. very far away. And, and then I, Ryung I got two Grubby full actually, drops. Yeah, I don't know why Grubby chased that. Um, with so many units. Right, right. It, it was... He chased him for a long time, too. I mean, he had to think that some drops were coming. He didn't see his opponent's army uh, anywhere on the map. Well, we are going to be going into game two here. The map will be Cloud Kingdom, and we are just waiting for the uh, game to get set up so we can go ahead and begin this and see if Grubby is going to pull back or if Young is going to close this up and eliminate Grubby from the game. Is Grubby top 12? Do you know? No, he was chosen by... Oh, wait, already. You mean yeah, in the event? in the event. We would have to take a look at the bracket to confirm that. Well, we can do that, or our uh, production crew can do that. While we it actually should be close. Game. It's either this round or next round. Or, excuse me, this round. Yeah, or next round. This top 12. We'll see. Grubby <laughs> complimenting Ray Young's hair. <laughs> I mean, he's a nice <laughs> guy. <laughs> 